In this video I would like to give you an overview of the repository. So what is it? Where is it positioned in the architecture and um, what does it consist of? If we look at OBIE's uh, logical architecture, you will see that it consists of three layers and at the heart of the architecture there is the metadata layer which connects the front-end tools to the sources and puts an abstraction layer in between which contains a dimensional business model um, in business terms across all sources. Now, this metadata layer is stored somewhere and uh, this is what is called the repository. There are many references or different names for the metadata of OBIE. So it's often called the Common Enterprise Information Model because it's one business model across all, all the sources of an organization. It's referred to as business model. It's sometimes referred to as semantic layer. It can be seen as a virtual data warehouse because you're creating star schemas in the metadata, even though sources do not have uh, the star schema uh, design, they may be a relational uh, OLTP system. And well, it's also sometimes referred to as the repository. Basically, all these terms are synonyms for the metadata uh, that, that runs at the heart of OBIE and um, on, ba on the basis of which OBIE generates and handles the requests from users uh, which are coming from the front-end tools. Now let's zoom in to what this metadata in the, in the middle, in the red square, uh, consists of. So we're zooming out of this picture and we're going to have a deeper look into the metadata layer. Again, this metadata or the repository consists of three layers. A physical layer, a business model and mapping layer, and a presentation layer. The physical layer contains all the relevant information about the physical sources, so connections, if applicable tables, columns, keys, joins and aliases. Um, these are typically relational database terms. Uh, in case of a file, it may also be the location of a file. And in case of an OLAP cube, it may also contain hierarchies because these hierarchies are already physically stored within an OLAP cube. So this layer describes the physical sources and how OBIE can get access to them. The business model and mapping layer contains the business model and this is a dimensional model so it consists of objects uh, like dimensions, hierarchies, measures, calculations and aggregation rules. Um, of course OBIE needs to know how this model is mapped onto the physical sources so that's why it's also called a mapping layer and it contains mappings onto the physical data. Um, the business model and mapping layer is really the heart of the, um, of the repository and this contains all the important information uh, about your business. So one big data model. And because this is often too large to consume, there's also a presentation layer which contains different subject areas, um, which uh, handles authorization on those different subject areas. Uh, the presentation layer also handles translation. So the translation of the terms in the business model, if um, users have consists of uh, groups with, which have different languages. And it's also the access point for the logical SQL interface to the Oracle BI server. Um, the presentation layer, as I said, is a simplification layer 
for the, the quite big business model. So this is done by making a selection in terms of subject areas out of the, the business model. So that's how the presentation layer relates to the business model layer. All the front end tools, which are positioned on the top of in this uh, picture, connect to the presentation layer and through this way, through the business model, to the physical layer, finally to the physical, physical sources, which are point placed over here. Now, if you open a repository in OBIE, if you, you are editing the repository through the administration tool. If you fire up the administration tool, you will see that these three layers are um, reflected over there. So here's the administration tool. I'm making an online connection to a running Oracle BI server. And as you see, here is the physical layer, the business model and mapping layer, and the presentation layer. The business model contains different sources. So if you look at such a database, for instance, you will see that it contains properties of what kind of a source it is, and also how to connect to it, username, password. The business model layer contains a dimensional model, so you will see the hierarchies that are available, uh, dimension objects and fact objects containing measures, as you can see by this icon. And as you can see, there's only one business model available here, and there are two subject areas available. So there are two different set, subsets of selections out of the business model in this repository. If you open, we see here that this set is made, is, is made, and a smaller set is made. And you can also see that objects over here contain settings to do make permissions or to do a custom display name, which is handled, which is the way OBIE handles the translation of the objects. So those are the three layers of the repository, and um, each of them deserve a little bit more attention, which you can see in other movies. <laughs>